Hello everyone, thanks so much for checking out today's video. Today's Canva video request is how to present Canva in Google Meet. So let's talk about that in today's video. Okay, the first thing you need to do is of course to prepare your Canva presentation. So by the way, Canva recently launched a new feature. So just go to the design tab or yeah, the design button on the sidebar and you'll be able to see magic design. So describe the presentation you want and Canva will write and design a draft for you instantly. So you might find this tool useful, but we're not going to talk about that in detail today. We're going to close that and after you've finished preparing your presentation, then it's time for you to go to Google Meet. Of course, you're going to start a new meeting. So we're going to click on a new meeting. That is if you're the host of the meeting. But if you have a presentation um, with a link or a code, then insert that code over here and click on join. But for us, we're just going to click on new meeting for the sake of today's video. We're going to start an instant meeting. And I think we're already here. So I'm just going to close these windows. And the next thing we need to do is to go to this button over here, which is called present now. And then we'll be able to have three options. We can present our entire screen, a window or a tab. A tab, according to Google, is best for video and animation. But for now, we're going to choose a tab. We're going to try to select the other feature, which is a window later on. So we're going to click on tab for now. We're going to choose the specific tab we want to share. In that case, that's the tab where our presentation is. So we're going to click on share. And it's already sharing. So now we're going to go to present over here. And then we're going to click on present full screen and then click on present. And this way we'll be able to start presenting. We can navigate through our presentation by clicking either to the right or to the left. So if we click to the right, it'll take us to the next page. If we click to the left, then it'll take us to the previous page. Once you want to stop sharing, just simply click on this button, stop sharing, and it'll stop. Okay, we're going to go back. I'm going to press the escape button on my keyboard. And here we are. We're going to go back to Google Meet. And this time, we're going to use Canva Presenter View, which is much better than the full screen thing that we did earlier. And that is because when you use the Presenter View, you will have your very own window for navigation and a separate window that your viewers can see. Okay, we're going to go to Canva and we're going to click on Present. This time, we're going to choose Presenter View, and then we're going to click on Present. So this is going to be our presentation window. This is what our audience will be able to see. And this is our navigation window. This is so much better because you'll be able to navigate your slides freely. You don't have to go through all of them in order. You can skip slides if you want to. And your viewers won't even see. So it's a lot more professional that way. Okay, we're gonna try to share our presenter window to our audience. So we're going to go back to Google Meet 
and we're going to click on present now. This time we are going to choose a window. So here we have three windows. This is the window that we want to share. So we're going to click on it and we're going to click on share. I'm going to go back to my presenter screen over here and I'm going to separate it into a different window. And I'm going to go back to my audience window, arrange it over here. And this will be my presenter window over here. So I'm going to navigate it that way. So what I did is that I separated my Google Meet tab, my audience window, and my presenter only screen into different windows so that I'd be able to see what's going on and control it better. Doing it this way will be able to help me navigate my presentation behind the scenes. So whatever is going on on my audience window will also be on my Google Meet screen. And that's how you present your presentation in Canva to Google Meet. I think we still have enough time, so perhaps we should discuss Canva's new feature for presentation just shortly. So we're going to click on design on the sidebar. And then we're going to click on magic design over here. We're going to click on try it out. And then use five or more words to describe your presentation topic. Okay, let's give it a try. Well, this is more than five words, but let's give it a go. Let's click or let's hit enter on our keyboard. And here are the results. So let's take a look at them one by one. Hmm, I think they're okay, but they're not really what I expected. But I think it's a good start. If you want to see more, then click on this button or this see more button. And if you're not really happy with the results, then you can click on start again. Perhaps we could try different keywords this time. So this is what they gave us. They have different layouts here that we can choose from. Hmm, perhaps we can use this as a building block and we'll worry about the designing part later on. At least the information has been laid out. Well, perhaps we could use this one. So we're gonna click on create my presentation and let's see what happens. I think it glitched, it didn't really do anything. Let's try that again. We're going to try to click on create my presentation again. And unfortunately, it's still not working. There's a prompt here that displays this technology is new and improving. Please report this design if it doesn't seem right. Mm. Well, unfortunately, it's not working, but I hope in the near future it'll be available to use and it won't be glitching anymore. 
it's a useful tool although the design is a bit lacking well in my opinion i think it's a um, a good tool to help you kickstart things but the the only problem we've encountered today is that it doesn't seem to create that design for us but yeah hopefully it'll be fixed and i think that's it for today thank you guys so much for watching we look forward to seeing you again in the next video and we hope that you have a great day